Rahul, I wanted to be a game programmer or a game artist or a game designer. I want to make video games and I didn't know what to do. Should I go to college? Which college should I go to? Should I do a diploma? Should I do a master's? Should I go abroad? Should I stay in India? What exactly do I do? How do I educate myself and then get a game development job or join the game industry or start my own game studio? This is a very, very big question that I get asked all the time. And in this video, I'm going to answer this question. So let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Rahul Saigal. I'm the founder of Game Domeka, India's number one game development school. And I make content which is specific for game development, game careers. So make sure you follow me, make sure you like this video, and also make sure you follow me on Instagram and join the G2M Discord server. So let's go. All right, so now let's ask the big question first. Do you need to do graduation to join the game industry? And the answer is yes and no at the same time. I'll explain that. So firstly, remember that nobody, no company is going to be hiring you on the basis of your degree, right? Because game development, whether you want to be a game designer, game artist or game programmer, the job is given to you not on the basis of your qualification or degree, but on the basis of skill. You can be a PhD from MIT in game development, but if you don't have the skills, well, no one's going to give you a job. On the other hand, I've seen people who are class 12th dropout make 30, 40, 50 lakh rupees a year in the game industry because they had the skills. So remember that a degree is not the most important thing to get a job. You can get a job. You can do well without a degree. However, do remember that many of the big companies in India at an entry level position, they ask for your degree. They ask for some kind of graduation. So you can be whatever you can be like psychology or radiology or <laughs> you can be an MBBS or do any silly degree and they'll be like, okay, they'll just check the mark. They'll write down the name of the degree and you'll get hired, right? So in that way, it's good to have some kind of qualification. It doesn't even have to be a degree. It can actually be a diploma as well. But if you have some kind of qualification, some kind of accredited qualification, then it makes your entry into the game industry much easier. You can still join a small game studio. Um, they are not even going to ask for your degree, but especially the larger game studios, the bigger organizations, they have the HR has to tick the box for graduation, which is why having some kind of degree or some kind of diploma actually helps. Now, that's the most important thing. Now that we've got out of the way, whether you need to be a graduate or not, the next thing is what kind of course, what kind of college should you do? Now, the reality of the matter is that in India, especially, mm -hmm. I've actually been teaching at colleges and I know the Indian scene for game development education really well. And there is no college, there is no course for game development, which is actually worth the money. And I'll explain to you why. This is because fundamentally the most important thing for a game development course in a college, there are many colleges that say, we have BSc or we have BTech or we have B whatever in game something with a specialization. And the problem with all those courses is that firstly, they don't have the faculty right? They have some random people whom they've hired teaching game development. They don't even understand what game design is. They basically teach some kind of game art in place of game design. If it's going to be game programming, they're not going to be teaching game programming. And also remember, there's going to be no project. The most important thing, if you want to go to a game school is a game project in which different students should team up. They should be organized into teams. And all of these students should actually build a game together. This is not there in any college in India. This is only available abroad or in India. It's available at Game to Maker. And I'll be telling you about that later. However, in India, none of the so-called game colleges or courses actually have these things, which are very, very important. So then you might ask Rahul, what do I do? And the answer to that is you can just do a normal graduation. And I'll explain how. So if you want to be a programmer, for example, if you want to get into programming, if you like coding, if you like to do game programming, then you should just do a normal B tech or a CSE without any kind of specialization or anything. You should learn programming. You should learn the basics of programming, learn the basics of OOP, data structures, algorithms. If you can get that in your course in college, 
that's great. That will provide a very strong base for you to actually get into the game industry. Secondly, if you are, if you want to be a game artist, you like sketching, art, animation, etc., then I would actually suggest doing art-based graduation, such as Bachelor of Fine Arts or something like that. There are many, many courses such as that available. You should actually get your basics strong. You should learn perspective, anatomy, colors, all that kind of thing. So if you can do some kind of graduation in, in like a Bachelor of Fine Arts, that would be a really, really good base for you to get into the game industry as an artist. Lastly, as a game designer, you can do some kind of design, like a Bachelor of Design, Graphic Design, or anything like that in the design field, which will help you to think like a designer, right? For a game designer, you can actually even do B-Tech. If you know some programming, that's fine. You can actually even do BFA. So if you know art, so as a game designer, you can do B-Tech, BFA or BDES, whatever it is. And that's absolutely fine. Right. Now what? You've done your graduation in a non-gaming course. Now what is the best approach for you? And the best approach is that while you're doing your graduation in a normal college, you should start learning game development for the skill of your choice. So in your first or second year, I would recommend download the kind of software you want, start making games, participating in game jams, start getting into gaming, take some spare time. Don't just like, you know, spend all your spare time in college partying. Sure, you can party, you can do stuff, spend five to 10 hours per week learning game development. You can learn it from the internet. A really good option is to actually join Gamer to Maker. Many of our students in Gamer to Maker are actually college students, right? They we have a program in which you can go to college and side by side you can actually study. And many of our students have gotten hired as game designers, artists, and programmers by the time they graduate. But if you want to do it by yourself, that's fine. It'll, it'll be a little bit. It'll take a little bit more time. It'll be a lot more difficult. But if that's what you choose, you can do that. You can learn from the internet. Make games learn game development, build games in a team, do this while you are in college so that when you graduate from this course, whatever it is, you'll actually have a portfolio. Also, yes, remember, build your portfolio. Don't just graduate and be like, oh, I've made some games. You should actually be building your portfolio side by side so that in your third year of college, you can actually start applying for internships, start applying for jobs, so that you can be at the end of college, you're ready to join the game industry. So this is the way it works, guys. There is no shortcut. I would definitely recommend having a look at Gamer to Makers courses because we are actually accredited by the government of India. We have a diploma program. So you don't, after you finish school, technically you don't even need to do your graduation because you just join the diploma program and in one year you'll be ready for the game industry. However, if you do want to go to college, that's fine. You can join these programs side by side. So remember, A, that graduation is not essential to get a game job, but it may help. And secondly, remember, there are no, out of this time, there are no good game colleges. You, If you actually want to go to a game college, you probably have to go abroad and spend hundreds of rupees. And if you can't afford that, well, just do what I've told you. If you have any comments, let me know about your experience with game colleges. If you've joined a game college and if you had a bad experience, do let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys around. Let's go.